All right, guys. Hey, so people are always asking me, what is the point of web hosting? Do you need web hosting for WordPress? And I tell them, yeah, you do. Because WordPress is a software that you have to put somewhere. So let's back up though. What are we doing here with web hosting? Well, let's log into my web hosting app, Bluehost. You can see I have like a few different web hosts, but Let's log in there and let's see what web hosting looks like. And it's super easy. And honestly, the hardest part about web hosting is usually just remembering your password to log into your hosting like we're doing right now. So you need hosting so that everything is organized like this. So you have a home, you have your sites. These are just WordPress sites we installed. I can manage it. I can view it right here. It'll take us to the blog itself. It's cool. Got these like futuristic images and this email subscription box. And this is all using WordPress.org, of course. WordPress.org needs web hosting because it's just your own little world. And you combine the web hosting and the domain name with WordPress, and then you're good to go. You have everything managed right here. You can do it all, email, domains, you name it. There's my domain name, so it's going to renew soon. And then the way you create the content is like right here. You don't actually um, do anything crazy to make the content. I just go to home and then I think I can log in through here. Go to WordPress. And it's going to do that little login link right there. And then it's that login up top. <clears throat> and then it's going to load for us. So that's super user friendly old redheaded guy with the beard there and yeah this is where we make all our content we just go to like themes to change the look this is all in wordpress.org of course you can buy a theme or you can just get the free themes that everyone loves in wordpress there are a ton of them and then you can go to post to write a blog post cool these are the blogs i have you can make a page you can add some media like your latest picture from your road trip with your friends. So this is all WordPress.org. This is the same thing that like the best bloggers that you read on the web use and tons of big sites like time.com, New York Times, um, New York Post uses it, Disney, celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Snoop Diggity Dogg, Jay-Z, Beyonce, um, Katy Perry. I think Tim Ferriss of the 4-Hour Workweek, it's a great book, uses WordPress. So this is what they all look at. And you need hosting so that you can have WordPress.org. When you get your hosting at Bluehost, for example, like I clearly did, all you do is just click Get Started, and then you make a Bluehost account. You choose the basic because it's like the best one and it's the cheapest and everything works great. You don't really need any more. And then you put in your domain name. So you have a domain name. Or you can choose it later. You click next. And you basically just pay for your account. Click log in. And then you're in here. And you have WordPress. And that's all hosting is. You don't need to connect the toaster to the refrigerator and climb over wires in your living room to make hosting work. It's just like a place to store everything. The alternative to getting hosting is using WordPress.com. WordPress.com is amazing. And it's where a lot of us try blogging at first um, and with wordpress.com they do the hosting for you so you don't get this you just get the blog at wordpress.com and they do the hosting for you the cool thing about that is like you just literally log in and blog the bad thing is and you just log in and blog honestly at um, when you have your hosting too so it's kind of the same the bad thing is that you have to pay for things that are free on WordPress.org, you pay on WordPress.com. So you can get a personal plan, you pay a little more for premium, business, e-commerce, and all these things that you get come you know, for free when you get WordPress.org. So it's kind of like, do you want to just have a blog and then add on to it and pay monthly like a lot, but not know about web hosting? Or do you want to get your own hosting and then you'll automatically have WordPress.org. One way of looking at it is like WordPress.org is like a concert, like Coachella 
or something that everyone goes to at Urban, but it's out in Indio, California, where you pay a small fee at the door, like six bucks, let's say. And then when you get in, everything's free. You get drinks for free, you get a tent for free, you can like get a cool shirt or upgrade your hat for free. That's WordPress.org. You pay at the door for hosting and domain name, that's what you pay for. And then once you're inside, you get WordPress.org and all the plugins, themes are free. WordPress.com is the opposite. It's like a Coachella or like a, you know, restaurant, beer garden you go to where you walk in for free. But once you're in there to do anything at all, um, like to get your food or shirts or whatever, and just to like, you know, have more time there or to enter the VIP area, everything costs a little more here and there. And that way it adds up. So would you rather get hosting? And then you can install WordPress.org onto your hosting space and go that way. Or would you rather start just basic with the blog and then pay more as you go? So I obviously go with the hosting. I need it because, you know, WordPress.org requires it because it's a software and it has to be installed onto your hosting. Those are really just techie words. I mean, I don't even really know where it gets installed. It's just here. And then I log in here. Um, or do you want to go without hosting and see how far that takes you? So I know that's kind of a roundabout way of doing it, but I hope you got to see inside my hosting dashboard and that was fun. And I hope you got to see the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Cheers, guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching.